Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory, a fantasy Harvest Moon. So, in the last episode, it was mostly just grinding and things like that, but today, we're about ready. It's either today or tomorrow I can actually move on to the story. I'm not going to be quite doing the story, I don't think, this episode, but next episode for sure. I just... let's see, just grabbing that. I'm trying to stockpile a little of the black and white grass whenever I see it. But for now, I take care of my chores. I always seem to forget that. It's down here, not up there. Weird. Well, we're finally here. So you guys get to sit through this little bit. So I just try to water this and hope I have enough water. There we go. I was pretty sure I'd filled up before, but after my recent transgressions, eh, I don't really trust myself anymore. Okay, and now we're going to try to get some magic crystals. Partially just because I want to get the completion, and also partially because I need them to make certain things like now-ish. Oh, I forgot you could do that cure spell. Come on, give me... Give me the crystals. Assuming we're just taking them off the end of their staff or something. Magic Crystal. Saved us from damage. Oh, it's still dealt damage. Oh, that's lame. Another Magic Crystal. Perfect. Okay. Magic Crystals are the ones I need 16 of. I was looking away for a moment trying to deal with that, trying to figure it out. Hence why I got hit so many times there. Oh. Yeah, Water Crystal. Another water crystal. Sad, I already have a stack of those at home I really don't need anymore. Another water crystal, okay. Kinda getting old really quick. Magic crystals, please. All I care about. Elemental crystals are kinda garbage for me. I have stacks upon stacks of them. Not dealing with the beep beep. Skill up. Oh. Swordsmanship is maxed out. That's a weird feeling, but a good one. The next dish I cook will max me out on cooking as well. Magic powder. That's a good one as well. Alright. Slowly and carefully, I get all the magic powder I can. In a grand total of 11, I currently have one on me... I have at least one at home. I've shipped one, so that's three. I think I've used one for recipes, so that's four. So I need seven more. I think the next one I get, I'm gonna call good for now, and I'll go get some more of another item instead. There we go. Back into the Casmere ruins. Back to almost step in poison. Back to get that fairy powder. I don't know how to hold a tune. It's not that I don't know how to hold a tune, it's that I just, I just don't. Oh? I have a giant glove thing. <laughs> I was hoping it was leather gloves, because if it was leather gloves, then I could actually use that for a recipe. <laughs> I think I've gotten a pair before, but I think I sold them or something, thinking I didn't need them. Alright, fairy time. Fairy powder. So soon, too. Now, you of course didn't bring any parasite like I advised, because, as per usual, I don't think things through. So it costs 16 HP to swing, but they only deal 6 damage. So it's actually a better use of my time to just take the extra hit rather than swing a third time. If I don't crit, then I take 6 extra damage, but it's saving me in the long run. One powder to pretty much start this battle, and then nothing after. And I have to make my way all the way back. Here at the forge, if we take one emerald, two pieces of platinum, 
one magic powder, one fairy powder, and where is it? Our water pot? We get the joy water pot. Forgery level increased. We now have the max level water pot. That is really amazing and great. Now, rather than just be done for today, I of course need to go and commit Mieda more. Okay. We're gonna be fighting against these daemons. Oh. And getting devil blood just like I wanted. And I keep missing for some reason. But devil blood is apparently very abundant when you cut them with your sword. On holiday! Over here at the chemistry station, we take one little crystal, one root, one medicinal herb, one black grass, one white grass, and I think that's it. Yep, we get the heart drink. Okay, if we take two water crystals, one magic powder, and one devil blood, we get the agua element. If we take a fairy powder, a little crystal, and a medicinal herb, we get the neutral agent. Agua element increases the power of water magic by one. Neutral agent instantly redu instantly neutralizes poisonous marshes and other effects. Heart drink, a specially, mis nah, a specially mixed concoction, increases HP by three. Alright, so we made those things, we shipped those things, and now I go to bed for the next day. We're finally here, we can move on to Nan Cave. Alrighty. Finally, after all this time. Before I actually move on, I'm going to open up this fire path, just so I have access to the energy. Alrighty. Let's, let's see, where's my sword? There we go. And it's gone. I think this is the plant core. Whether that is the like official name or just the name that was like translated from Japan and isn't kept, I don't really remember. But I'm going to try killing a bunch of these. Pretty sure this is it, though. Here, actually, I can bring up a map just to be sure I'm correct. Yep. This guy has two drops that I want. And I need two of one of them. So we're going to be here for a little bit, just farming this guy. And of course, all the important enemies are always ranged ones. This guy's actually hit hard. Too bad they literally have one attack in that sword storm. Which was well, a good attack, it's not the hardest spell to dodge. It's not like the uh the fire elemental, I'm forgetting what its actual name is, that just explodes. Wow. This guy is kind of oh, I was about to say, this guy's kind of the most, you know, stingy. But luckily that one actually gave us the drop we wanted. Strong Vine. It still has one more Strong Vine that I need to get from it. And it has a Rare Drop that I need as well. We can always grind the Rare Drop later, assuming this is a Strong Vine. Yep. Okay guys, we did it. We did it, boys. And now we're out of here. Time to go back home. So I'm not sure I have every item I need, but I'll check my stuff and start working. Alright, so we do not have enough, but not of platinum. We actually need gold. The uh, fishing rod actually doesn't have a platinum tier. It goes to gold and then stops. Weird, I know, but, you know, it leaves us down here looking for gold. Nice. Go up. I'm going to hope that I have everything else I need at home. So we take one strong vine, one strong string, two pieces of silver, 
our fishing rod, and oh, there it is, one fairy powder to make the famous rod. We take one strong vine, one strong string, two pieces of gold. I was actually looking at the wrong thing. We only need two, so I didn't actually need to get more. One sacred rod. We now have the max level fishing rod. The sacred rod. I'm going to go and, uh... uh I guess I have, still have a caved water, so I'll go grab a little bit of energy, water that last cave, and, you know, just take care of my stuff, but... I'm going to, right after I take my bath at 3, go in and just start fishing. Let's do this, boys. Let's get all the water. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go into Misty Bloom since I have some time to kill, about an hour or so. And we're just going to fish right over here. Mackerel, do not care. Sardine, do not care. The flounder, do I care? Let's see, I'll check my list. I don't know whether I care or not. I, I've caught one, I've shipped it, but I don't know if I have had more. Final fish for now. A shrimp. Perfect. Made it worth it. So with Misty Bloom today, we're just going to be covering the fishing etiquette of it, I guess. I don't know exactly how to put that, but we are going to be trying to get all the fish that are in there. Um at least three of each, some of them more. Let's see, for instance, shrimp. Shrimp, we need a total of six. Yikes. Area one of Misty Bloom is right here. We can get the yellowtail, we can get sardines, mackerel, snappers, flounders, skipjack, and shrimp. That is assuming this is everything that's in here. If I've learned one thing, it's that these lists are not completely accurate. You can always find the 1% whatever it is. The second area, which is this one, is a yellowtail, lobster, mackerel, sardine, tuna, and snapper. Um, is this, this, yes, it is the same screen. Then down here, I believe, is area three. Area 3 has the blowfish, sardine, shrimp, flounder, lobster, and snapper. So you can get the blowfish in this room. That guy is dead. Can you get the blowfish anywhere else? Yes, you can, and I'd rather... Actually... Yeah, no, I'd, I'd rather go elsewhere. Um, there we go. And the dog's in the background. This is area four. We have the flounder, skipjack, mackerel, and tuna here. So this is a decent place to get tuna, because there's only four fish you could get. Area five, right up here, is the sardine, snapper, mackerel, and lover snapper. So, four choices, one of which is the Lover Snapper, not bad. Right down here is Area 6, Squid, Mackerel, and Skipjack. If you really want Skipjack, this wouldn't be a bad place. Also, those dang dogs. All the way down here is Area 7. Once I go through this thing, screen transition. This area has the Blowfish, Sardine, Lobster, Mackerel, Lover Snapper, Flounder, Skipjack, Tuna, and Snapper. Um, yeah, a lot of variety. We will not be fishing here, either. Instead, we'll be going towards the boss room. What you could do is you could actually save, and you could instead come back here, like, just reload if you get the thing, like, don't get the thing you want. This area has the Lamp Squid, Full Snapper, Lover Snapper, Tuna, and Snapper. We caught a tuna. The blowfish? That is not on my list. Like I said, these lists are not perfect. So we know we can get the blowfish here as well. That's great. The glitter snapper. That is not on my list. <laughs> Excuse me, where, where are we supposed to be able to get the glitter snapper? I need to check that. Oh no, it's definitely supposed to be able to be obtained here. The actual fishing page just doesn't have it. Okay, that's... that's cool. It, yeah. I'm using actual multiple websites trying to get this information. And... kind of, you know... Eh. Things disagree. The same website might have different info on different pages. It's not all orderly. It's not all accurate either. I'm trying to update things as I go as well. 
A lover snapper, perfect. Okay, that thing is cute and even has like a little like beauty mark right beneath its eyes, so that's adorable. A lamp squid, great. Another blowfish, nice. Another glitter snapper, perfect. So the lover snapper is only here in Misty Bloom, and that's pretty much what we're going for here. Oh, a full flander, new fish. Perfect. And from this menu, chillproof bag. So I'm actually extending this episode another day past where I normally would cut it off because I doubt this has been very long for you guys and doing episodes where I don't do a lot of progress is, you know, not great to do multiple in a row. And I need to do this now. So the only fish I need to get in this cave are, I believe, the yellowtail, the tuna, the blowfish, and the lover snapper. I'm not 100% sure on all of those. If I had a higher fishing level, this would be easier. Okay, uh, another blowfish, perfect. I also need to get shrimp. Apparently those are only in here as well. Shrimp and yellowtail were both found on the first screen though, so I can worry about that later. For now, this lever snapper has to be mine. A second full flounder, nice. I only need one more of those, I believe. Skill up. Better chance of getting that lover snapper now. I have four of them now. I'm pretty sure I only need three. So that means this one is going bye-bye. Another tuna. I do not believe I have all those yet. Okay, so I need one more glitter snapper. I have one out of three of the flounder I need. Assuming I didn't get the flounder somewhere else. I have it marked down that I have one already, which makes me second guess it and say that flounders might actually be obtainable outside Casimir. If I'm remembering that correctly. That was like five, four, five months ago, something like that. <laughs> Another lover snapper, perfect. And now we have the beep of death. So one more fish after this and then we're heading back home. Alright. Yeah, forget it. Let's do it. One more. One more time. You're gonna celebrate. Ooh, ooh, oh yeah. Don't stop the dancing. One more time. I'm gonna celebrate. So we left for the cave about 21 hours ago. So before I actually head back into Misty Bloom and go back to fishing, I of course need to water all these crops, and I need to deal with the fish, one way or another. I guess that means I'll have to chop them up. So here in the frying pan, if we use up one of our lover snappers, we get the fried love snapper. At the knife set, if we use one of our lover snappers, we get the lover snapper sashimi. At the frying pan, if we use a fall flounder, we'll get a fried autumn. And at the knife set, if we use a fall flounder, we'll get the fl fall flounder sashimi. Once again, the frying pan, end of the knife set, the glitter snapper sashimi. At the frying pan, if we use a blowfish, we get the fried blowfish. And at the knife set, we get the blowfish sashimi. This is actually a level 90 recipe, so, you know, have fun cooking that. We're going to use one of our shrimp for shrimp sashimi. and one of our tuna for our tuna sashimi, as well as our lamp squid for lamp squid sashimi. The other tuna can be used to make tuna teriyaki. Fried blowfish, a rare dish since blowfish is usually served as a sashimi. Fried glitter snapper, salted glitter snapper fried in a pan, best when cooked slowly. Glitter snapper sashimi, whole glitter snapper, this sweet and expensive dish can be served without seasonings. The Lover Snapper Sashimi. This treasured Lover Snapper is usually served without any seasonings. The Blowfish. This famous fish is used in, contain 
In certain high-class meals, some parts are poisonous. Tuna teriyaki, tuna dressed in a sweet sauce and fried. Sauce is added during preparation. Tuna sashimi. This, high, the, this first class sashimi is cut with the richest of... Is from the richest cut of tuna. I don't know why I have such trouble with that. Fried lover snapper. Salted lover snapper fried in a pan. Known to induce excitement. Fried autumn. Salted fall flounder fried in a pan. It's as colorful as autumn leaves. Fall flounder sashimi. The rare fall flounder. It's thin meat is good for the skin and popular among girls. Shrimp sashimi. Fresh shrimp peeled and served raw without s with soy sauce. Lover snapper sashimi. No. Oh, no. L lamp squid. I was wondering why that didn't look right. Lamp squid sashimi. Fresh lamp squid cut and served raw with soy sauce. Warms the body when eaten. Blowfish sashimi. Fresh blowfish sliced transparently thin. A very exquisite dish. And then we're just selling the lover, uh, the rigor snappers and the flounder. And we're done with that. Cool. Now that I think about it, we never actually checked. The Joy Water Pot, used to water fields, creates joy for crops, can hold water for 162 squares. Something I never actually showed off, so I figure I should do that for a moment. Okay, I believe Area 1 has Tuna and Yellowtail. I didn't mean to say Tuna, I meant to say Shrimp. Whatever. Speaking of shrimp, a yellow tail. The first one we've caught. We need three of those, and I don't think they're rare. They're just early on in this cave. So we still need four more shrimp, two more yellow tail. Another yellow tail. Easy. If I get another yellow tail moving to area three. So, just a note for future Gabe, and also probably the audience as well. I don't think I'll include the lame fish just won't even include them because I'm tossing them anyway. Oh, speaking of fish, the shrimp, nice. Mackerel and like sardines and things, they just aren't worth showing to be honest. They can be caught just about everywhere, or at least in the ocean in here, and that's just enough. Yellowtail, cool. Get through there with care. On to area three. Because area three can't get more yellowtail. I think that's actually the only difference. You also can't get mackerel. But instead you can get blowfish. I'm willing to commit murder. I'm not going to back to prison! Alright. So I got kind of uh, scared there for a minute. I realized that I was really low on battery life, as in it was about to die on me. So midway through catching that shrimp I had to actually pull again. Good thing I looked down in time. I just realized that it is the 14th. What was the 14th? 17th was bus. Okay. M would never let me forget it if I forgot Sharon's birthday. Okay, so I've got to go home, see about uh, trying to restore my energy. I like how both at the end of the last episode and the beginning of this episode was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go around, grind up stuff, talk to people. I've not done any talking to people at all. What? Phew. Back to the grind. I only have two hours left, after all, to get one of the two shrimps I need. So I do still need that lover snapper. I'm not forgetting that. But I will not be getting that this episode. Maybe next, I'm not sure. I don't really... Oh, hey, skill up. I don't really like... Uh, you know, spending episode after episode doing the same thing. I try to change it up, trying to keep things fresh because I don't want people to get bored, you know? It's also why I try not to include too much of this, you know, in between stuff because while it's fine for me, I understand you're watching the video to see more of the game, not to see me just sit here fishing. Which, I mean, I enjoy doing, but. I understand that other people like kind of commentary, something I can talk about. There's not a huge amount to talk about when I'm just, you know, doing the same thing over and over. I believe I only need one more shrimp. If I get one more shrimp, then I'm done. Four, yeah. So one more shrimp, and then I am finished. So unless this is the fish right here, next episode I'll take care of the shrimp and the 
Lover Snapper and other things partway through the episode. I'll probably start covering other things based on Denon tomorrow in-game. Shrimp. I was too late. <sighs> okay. Tomorrow I will be tired. Alrighty. Not a lot I can do about that. It's already done. And since it's already done, I guess I'll take care of this stuff now. The Grilled Shrimp. The yellowtail fry. The yellowtail sashimi. Over at the frying pan, if we use one shrimp, one oil, one egg, and one flour, we can make the tempura. And the tempura. And the tempura. We need three of them. If you go to the pot and you use one tempura and one udon, you make the tempura udon. Also at the pot, if you use one tempura and one rice, you make the tempura bowl. Grilled shrimp. Seasoned shrimp cooked whole. Usually only served on special occasions. Tempura. Various ingredients dipped in eggs and flour and then deep fried in oil. Tempura udon. As the name suggests, udon topped with tempura. Should really have been made in the simple area, but yeah, whatever. A tempura bowl. Rice topped with tempura and a delectable sauce. Yelltail fry. Yelltail dressed in a sweet sauce and fried in a pan. Shrimp, a type of crustacean encased in a hard shell, it has many legs. Yellowtail, these large fish look impressive are known to bring good luck. And finally, the yellowtail sashimi, fresh yellowtail cut and served raw with soy sauce, rich in flavor. So, I'm going to make sure that I don't have it marked down yet. I do not. Um, I'm actually short one shrimp. I must have not had it marked down correct. I had it marked down that we need six shrimp. I apparently need seven. There are two recipes left, so I actually need a grand total of eight. I guess I didn't realize, or I didn't bother double checking and making sure I didn't need more tempura, but I did. So because I didn't realize that, I don't have enough. So I need two more shrimp, then I can be done with shrimp in total. So guys, next time, let's play Rune Factory, a fantasy harvest moon. I figure we'll take on Danon tomorrow, and after we take on Danon, I'll actually go and take care of Misty Bloom, getting the last of the fish. That'll probably be the entirety of the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoy story progress, and then more of a lazy day like this. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.